when I grow up, I want to sing bass like Elder Mary. So we are going to have the ordination segment for our elder, Kobe. I'm going to invite him to come in front to sit on my right. Um, his wife, Sister Dorina, daughters, Cesara and Celine, please come forward. I know Elder Kobe is uh, interpreting for the Romanians. Could somebody take over? Oh, Sister Maria. Okay, thank you. They can't just walk. Give them a hearty amen, amen as we encourage them in the Lord. I'm going to ask that we remain seated uh, during the service where possible so that we go through this solemn service recognizing the presence of God in this place. Amen? Amen. So, beloved, I'm here to introduce you to our ordinance here. Brother, we'll call him elder after ordination. Amen? Brother Shaba Adras Gudia. That's his name better known as Elder Kobe. Amen? Amen? And his lovely wife, Sister Doreen, Dorina, let's give them a big amen. amen. The daughters, Cesara and Celine, let's give them a big amen, amen as well. Amen. So allow me to call him brother until after ordination. Um, this is how it's supposed to be. Uh, when you are ordained, that's when you are called elder in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So Brother Kobe has demonstrated that God has called him and that he is willing to serve the Lord such a time as this. From the Bible, in Acts chapter 14, verse 23, the Bible says, and when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord on whom they believed. So for generations, the church has ordained people for service. The church, in its wisdom, here in Houston Road, Seventh-day Adventist Church, in its wisdom, foresight, and inspiration from God, has set aside Brother Kobe because we recognize that God has put something in him. Amen? Amen. Something special that can be utilized in for the advancement of God's church as we wait for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It was Martin Luther King Jr. who said, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep the streets even as uh, Michael Angelo painted or Beethoven composed the music, or Shakespeare wrote poetry, he should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause and say, hey, down there on planet Earth, there is a sweeper. For the church, elders are to perform duties with excellence. There's a word from the Lord from Zechariah 4.6 which says, not by mighty, 
nor by power, yes, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Elders serve by exercising oversight of the church in Christ's name. The Apostle Paul told the elders in Ephesus, keep watch over yourselves and over the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Elders must provide for the true preaching of the word, instruction for the faith, for both the youth and the adults, regular recognition of special services, and faithful counsel and discipline while keeping in confidence those matters entrusted to them. And they must promote fellowship, hospitality among believers, ensure good order in the church, and stimulate witness to all people. And as Seventh-day Adventists, to remember that we are the custodians of the three angels' message. So we preach the everlasting gospel in the context of the three angels' message. It is from the Spirit of Prophecy, Review and Herald, uh, January 17, 1893, where these words were written. The Lord has given to his followers talents of intellect and energy and means those who are known to be men of well-balanced minds who have the love and fear of God before them should be appointed as elders and deacons and through the exercise of the ability God has given them, they may grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So Elder Kobe, Brother Kobe, Brother Kobe amen. amen. I would like you to stand and maybe, yeah, your family can support you uh, in standing as I make this charge. I charge you as a shepherd of the flock to hold family to the trustworthy message as it has been taught so that you can encourage others by sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. Titus 1 verse 9. Be a friend and Christ-like example to children. Give clear and cheerful guidance to young people by word and example. Bear up God's people in their pain and weakness, and celebrate their joys with them. All the interest, all sensitive matters confided to you. Encourage the senior members to persevere in God's promises. Be a wise counselor who supports and strengthens the church, working closely, closely with the rest of the pastoral team. Be compassionate, yet firm and consistent in rebuke and discipline. Know the scriptures, know the spirit of prophets, amen? amen? Which are useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Second Timothy chapter 3, 16. Pray continually for your family and for the church. Remember at all times that if you would truly give spiritual leadership in the household of faith, you must be completely mastered by the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray a prayer of ordination. And I'm going to invite elders ordained here present to join me in front. If you are Seventh-day Adventist ordained elder here present, please come forward so that we can ordain. Uh, Elder, brother. Oh. 
что не вы. Can we have the portable microphone, please? It's there. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this special day that you have given us. We are here to rejoice and to be glad. We have set aside this day for ordination of our brother, Gudea, the one we know as Brother Kobe. Over the years in the past, ordination for eldership in your church has been taking place. And today is no different. We are following the teachings that we have known from the scriptures, even in the early years of the Christian church in the New Testament. We thank you for what you have done for this church in the past. You have been our guide in the past. And we thank you because you are present with us today and you will be our hope for tomorrow. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have set aside Brother Gudea for ordination for eldership. He has demonstrated over time that he is willing to serve you in a special way in the office of elder. And today as we lay our hands upon him, we pray that the sweet Holy Spirit, the sweet heavenly dove, will rest upon him. As the shepherd in the Old Testament would put oil upon the sheep in order to protect it from the attacks on its head, we pray for your spirit to be upon him so that he will be protected from the snares of the enemy as he take this special office. Thank you, Father, the captain of our salvation for this privilege for us men, mortal men, to save you. We ask the spirit of the living God to be upon him as we lay our hands upon him. We pray that you will quicken, inspire him with virtue to be able to teach, to instruct, to inspire, to rebuke, and to prepare your church for your soon coming. Now I pray in the name of Jesus that you bless him with good health and that he will not be bought or sold but he will stand for the truth, though the heavens may fall. I pray that you bless his wife, Sister Dorina, that she will support him for the advancement of your kingdom, and that you will bless her all the days of your life. We pray for Cesara, pray for Celine, the children, that they are blessed too, and they support and encourage their father as you nurture them. So today, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we consecrate your man servant, ordaining him in the office 
of an elder. We thank you for hearing our prayers. We pray in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. and amen. Amen. Gentlemen, could you just form a, just come around here, please, all of you, all gentlemen, just come around here, please. We have, thank you so much. We have some presentations to give to Sister Darina there from some beautiful flowers from our ladies from the church. We also have some packages coming from the conference um, the pastor has organized. Um, this is more reading material for any certificate for Elder Kobe. And we also have a beautiful plaque that's been um, done specifically for him to remember the date that he was ordained and so we also have a pin which I don't have but there you go that's all right still <laughs> I'm, I don't like jewelry anyway <laughs> So turn around, Brother Kobe. Elder Kobe, you can see his pin there, beautiful pin. Um, so, and his certificate. That's wonderful. Yeah. We're nearly finished now. <laughs> just, just, just one more, please. Hold you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 